Welcome to today's tutorial, and today in GIMP we're going to be creating this vintage text effect. And it sort of looks kind of sci-fi, but again it has that worn out vintage look. So let's get started. We're going to create a new image, 800 by 600, and click OK. Fill the background in with this yellow color. The HTML notation is FFFE82. Fill it in. Then we're going to take our text tool, and with our text tool, we're going to write exotic. You can write whatever you want. I'm writing exotic. Fill it in with white. Uh, I'm using the font Franklin Gothic Demi Condensed, and at this with the size of 209 and the spacing of 2.0. Uh, go layer, auto crop layer and then center it to and align it with the image then go layer layer to image size alright now what we're gonna do is uh, make a new layer on the bottom fill that layer in with black then uh, alpha to selection your text layer and go onto the black layer and click delete or edit cut you can select none on the black layer go filters Reshow Gaussian Blur, or just Gaussian Blur, and uh, use 16. Click OK. Alpha to selection your text layer. Go to your black layer, and click Select Invert, and then click Delete. You can select none. Uh, move the black layer on top of the white layer. Now this is sort of getting a pressed in look, but it really isn't as refined as I want it to be. So we're going to uh, duplicate our text layer click the lock alpha channel button which basically means you can't uh, do anything outside of the alpha channel and then fill it in with this uh, gray color the HTML notation is B8 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 <laughs> click OK and fill in it fill in the second text layer with the gray layer with the gray color <laughs> and uh, on the bucket fill tool click fill hole selection now what we're gonna do is go to our white layer click on it and move it down a bit revealing the gray layer I think that is just about good alpha to selection the gray layer click select invert select your white layer and click delete you can select none go to your white layer and go filters reshow Gaussian blur and we're not gonna blur it by that much I'm just gonna blur it by about four that looks good. So now it really has a pressed in sort of looking effect. Now we're, what we're going to do is go, you're going to go filters, uh, map, illusion. And uh, I'm going to go division three. Oh, whoops. First you have to do is uh, um, click the eye on the background layer and go layer new from visible and uh, move that layer to the top then you can go filters map illusion <coughs> and uh, do mode 1 and divisions 3 click OK uh, now what we're gonna do is uh, put that layer mode on um, put the layer mode on multiply and then what you're going to do is you're going to duplicate that layer, use the flip tool, and flip it horizontally. Um, now what you're going to do is use the eraser tool uh, with full scale, and I'm just using a circle fuzzy brush. And you're just going to erase the middle. <coughs> that looks fairly good. Do the same thing over here. Alright, um, I'm going to turn down the opacity for both of these layers. Alright, that looks good. Now what we're going to do is make another new from visible layer by hiding the first two layers and then the last layer. And click layer new from visible and we're actually going to do that twice. <coughs> uh, put those two at the top. 
and then you can click the eyes on all of them that way you can see everything again <coughs> go to your first new from visible layer and click filters distorts curve bend and um yours is going to end up like yours is going to start out like this and what you want to do is keep is like make a wave sort of effect and uh it helps if you click automatic preview so that you can see what you're doing and you can see if you like it or not All right, I think that looks good. So, uh click okay and it's blending. That is bending. <laughs> All right. So, uh this is what you're going to end up with. Uh move it towards the center of the image and then put the layer mode on on uh overlay <coughs> and move it uh to the bottom just above the yellow layer. Uh, and it sort of adds like an element of randomness to everything and uh, it looks like a pretty good effect alright uh, now what we're gonna do is go filters edge detect neon except we're gonna go to our last new from visible layer so edge detect neon and my settings are 31.65 and the amount is uh, at zero so that looks good. Click OK. And I'm going to put the mode on overlay and then at like 50 opacity. That looks good. And it sort of makes the, it sort of makes it more uh, metallic. Make a new layer. <coughs> And um, you're gonna put use the paint bucket tool, and you're gonna put the effect on pattern fill. And I'm using the pattern. Um, it didn't come with GIMP. I added it on, um, and it's really easy to find. Just search um, metallic GIMP pattern on DeviantArt, and I'm sure you'll be able to find it. I don't exactly remember where I got it from, so I won't be able to. Um, uh, put the link in the description but once you do have the effect or once you do have the pattern and it's not completely necessary what we're gonna do is fill the new layer with that pattern and uh, put the layer mode on overlay and it sort of gives you a um, metallic look again I'm gonna turn down the opacity just a little bit and that looks good. Um, now what we're going to do is uh, use our gradient tool and put this blue as our foreground color. And the HTML notation is 1C3341. And the background color is, again, the yellow color, FFFE82. Click OK. <laughs> then you're just going to go layer new from visible. On that layer, you're going to go Colors, Map, Gradient Map. And it sort of gives that vintage look that I was talking about. And uh, I'm going to turn the opacity down a little bit for it. Around 67%. Overlay? No. It looks good just on normal. Alright. And then what you're going to do is uh, hide that layer and then go Layer new from visible put that on top and then uh choose a dark gray html notation is 31 31 31 and another uh light gray b8 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 is the html notation and uh go colors map gradient map and this sort of gives that metallic feeling i'm gonna put the layer mode on overlay and I'm going to duplicate the metallic layer and then put it on overlay and 
move the opacity really far down to 31%, just so you can get that effect again. So that is how you make this really uh, fantastic uh, text effect in GIMP. Uh, so thank you for watching this tutorial. Have a great day.